Hey everyone, Mark here from Visual Pro Detailing. Today we're going to be talking about and demonstrating very briefly how to apply a quick detail spray to the surface of your vehicle. Now I will note that quick detail sprays are not waterless washes. They are not a substitute for a car wash. If your vehicle is very, very dirty, then you need to wash it and this is not a substitute for that. Quick detail sprays are for after a wash or if you have just a little bit of dust or um, fingerprints or something like that that you need to remove from a vehicle and you don't want to go through all the trouble of washing it. All the time at car shows and um, when I go to automotive shows and things of that sort, I see quick detail sprays being horrendously misused um, and misapplied and then you have all the streakiness and all that stuff that happens whenever it, they are improperly used. Today I'm going to be using QD, which is Quick Detailer from G-Technic North America, and I'm going to be applying it just to this quarter panel here. One of the things I think that really gets a lot of car show people in trouble is that they apply their Quick Detail Spray in direct sunlight, and usually that's not a good thing to do. Um, it can be done that way, but you just have to be a little bit more careful. So what I'm going to do is I've got a clean, dry, microfiber towel and I'm going to use both sides of this towel and anytime your towel you can even use two towels with this if you like I'm just going to use both sides I've been this a few times but anytime you're using a quick detail spray you want to use a clean dry microfiber towel no cloth terry or anything like that because it has a much higher chance of um, marring the surface so I'm going to take my quick detail spray and I'm going to spray it directly on the surface not going to use a lot, but just enough to get lubrication and wipe down that panel. And I'm going to flip my towel. And then re-wipe that particular section. Now, if there is any streaking remaining after flipping that towel, flip it again to another dry section and finish off the whole section. And that is all you need to do. You don't need to continue wiping. You need to let the lubrication in the quick detail spray do the work whenever you are wiping across that surface. It doesn't need to be a lot of pressure because in theory, all you're trying to remove is smudges, dust, maybe a bird dropping or something like that, and you don't need to wipe hard, especially if there's contaminants on the surface. That's how you get swirl marks, that's how you get marring, that's how you get a very poor looking surface in a very short amount of time. That is the easy, quick way to use detail spray. Also, not all detail sprays are created equally. This one is a very um, cost effective, it is an extremely easy to use product that does not leave any residue behind if you apply it like I just showed it. Whereas there's some cheaper ones that you can buy at Walmart and the dollar store and stuff like that um, that just don't work as well. Now, if you're gonna go store-bought, go Meguiar's or Mother's. They're very good, reputable brands that have excellent products um, that you can even use a lot of them in direct sunlight and not have an issue. But whenever you're using that quick detail spray, try to stay out of direct sunlight, use clean, dry microfiber towels, and let the product do the work for you. Don't try to push it too hard, and don't try to scrub with it by any means because that is not the purpose of a quick detail spray. If you're gonna do that, get the buckets, get the hose out, and wash the car properly. If you like more information, you can go to our website, which is visualprodetailing.com.